everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 30th of july 2022 let's start sir winston churchill leadership award was recently presented to which leader so british prime minister boris johnson presented ukrainian president vladimir zelensky with the sir winston churchill leadership award so zelensky has accepted the award by video link during a ceremony at the london office and boris johnson was the first western leader to visit the ukraine after russia's invasion right so this leadership award was first presented in the year 2006 okay let's see some of the important awards which country announced 75 fully funded scholarships for the indian students in honor of india's 75th anniversary of independence so recently uk has announced 75 fully funded scholarships for the indian students to celebrate our azadi ka amrit mahotsav that is 75 years of india's independence which indian author was named as the companion of honor by the united kingdom this is salman rushdie who has been awarded the british honor of mbe for his contribution to the covid-19 pandemic this award has been presented to guru swami krishna murthy who was honored for film and television achievements at the mtv movie and the tv awards 2022 answer would be jennifer lopez karnal nandi and the khurram parvez who were in the news recently are associated with which honor so recently they have been featured in times 100 most influential people okay and karnal nandi is supreme court lawyer while khurra parvez is kashmiri human rights activist right and the third name in this list was of business person gautam adani which country is the first ever official country of honor at the march to film of cannes film festival this is our country india fine next question india has been elected as the host of icc women's cricket world cup in which year so international cricket council board has approved bangladesh india england and sri lanka as the four host countries of the icc women's cricket event so while the icc women's t20 world cup for the year 2024 will be hosted by bangladesh for second time the 2026 edition goes to england and the next icc women's cricket world cup in 2025 would be hosted by india and sri lanka will host this women's t20 champions trophy in the year 2020 Seven. Okay, so correct answer would be India will host it in the year 2025. Let's see some of the important cricket-related current affairs. Which is the first country to announce equal pay for both male and the female cricketers? This is the country, New Zealand. So New Zealand will now pay equally to both its male and the female cricketers, irrespective of the domestic and international matches. Which Indian cricketer created a world record? for scoring the most runs in an over in the test cricket so this record has been set by jaspreet bumrah recently and he has made 35 runs in an over 
एवन मॉर्गन हु अनाउंस द रिटायरमेंट फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट वॉज फ्रॉम विच टीम सो ही वॉज फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड टीम विच क्रिकेट टीम क्रिएटेड अ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड विद अ वन डे इंटरनेशनल स्कोर ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड नाइन्टी एट रन सो दिस रिकॉर्ड हैज बीन मेड बाय द कंट्री इंग्लैंड एंड दे हैव मेड इट अगेंस्ट नीदरलैंड विच कंपनी रिसेंटली अक्वायर्ड द यू ए टी ट्वेंटी क्रिकेट लीग फ्रेंचाइजी इट हैज बीन अक्वायर्ड बाय अदानी ग्रुप हु इज द फर्स्ट वुमेन क्रिकेटर टू अपियर इन द सिक्स वर्ल्ड कप्स दिस इज मिथाली राज You have to tell me. Adidas has recently chosen which sports person as its brand ambassador. Next question: The Family Courts Amendment Bill, which was passed recently, seeks to establish the family courts in which states? So the Lok Sabha has passed the Family Courts Amendment Bill 2022 that seeks to amend the Family Courts Act 1984 to establish the family courts in Himachal Pradesh. and in nagaland so law minister kiran rijiju said that 11.49 lakh cases were pending in 715 family courts across 26 states and the union territories at the beginning of may 2022 okay coming to the question slide which indian bank has acquired the consumer banking operations of city bank So the Competition Commission of India has approved Axis Bank's acquisition of the consumer banking operations of City Bank and City Corp Finance India Limited. So in the month of March actually City Group announced that it reached an agreement with the Axis Bank for the sale of City's consumer business in India and it will include the credit cards, retail banking, wealth management and the consumer loans okay european investment bank has recently joined which initiative of india so european investment bank has joined india led coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure that is cdri to limit the damages caused by the climate change so now european investment bank will work in association with the national governments united nation agencies multilateral development banks and the private sector to promote the rapid development of infrastructure resilient to climate change and the natural disaster okay so cdri was launched at the united nations climate action summit in the year 2019 at the initiative of india right what is the approximate amount of gross npa of scheduled commercial banks in 2022 so non performing assets of scheduled commercial banks in the country have declined in the last 4 years so this time the gross npa has reached to 7.53 lakh crore rupees and in the year 2018 the data was 10.36 lakh crore rupees okay so this was stated by the minister of state for finance mr bhagwat karat in a written reply in the rajya sabha and the decline in npa is primarily due to asset quality review that is undertaken by the reserve bank of india what is the amount involved in the frauds reported by the banks and other financial institutions in 2021 to 22 so union minister of state for finance mr bhagwant karat announced that the amount involved in the fraud reported by the banks and selected financial institutions has declined from 32178 crore rupees in 2019 to 20 to now 3785 crore rupees in 2021 to 22 so as per the rbi data frauds involving amount of 11800 crore rupees was detected in 2020 to 21 okay so correct answer would be 3785 crore rupees What is the name of Canara Bank's mobile banking super application? So the name of this super application is Canara AI One. Which state has signed MOU with Telangana to set up all women-run cooperative bank? So recently Rajasthan has signed this MOU with Telangana, and now they will set up a complete women-run cooperative bank. Next question: Ministry of Defence has fast-tracked 
द इंडिजनाइजेशन ऑफ एस डी आर विथ डी आर डी ओ एंड आई आई टी कानपुर वॉट इज एस डी आर सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस हैज फास्ट ट्रैक्ट द इंडिजनाइजेशन ऑफ एस डी आर मीन्स सॉफ्टवेयर डिफाइंड रेडियोज विथ डी आर डी ओ एंड आई आई टी कानपुर एंड एम इज टू फुलफिल द राइजिंग डिमांड बाय द आर्म फोर्सेज एक्रॉस अ ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ ऑपरेशन ओके सो टू की एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इंडिजिनस एस डी आर टेक्नोलॉजी आर द स्टैंडर्डाइज ऑपरेटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इन्वायरमेंट एंड एप्लीकेशन दैट इज वेब फॉर्म ओके नो लेट सी सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट वेर इन न्यूज विच इंस्टीट्यूशन फंड एंड मैनेजेस आईडेक्स मीन्स इनोवेशन फॉर डिफेंस एक्सेलेंस सो इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लॉन्च आई डेक्स एज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस फ्लैगशिप फॉर टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन एंड इट इज फंडेड एंड मैनेज बाय डिफेंस इनोवेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज डी आई ओ इट इज अ कंपनी दैट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड बाय द डिफेंस पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड एंड डी ई एल मीन्स भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड ओके सो आई टेक्स वॉज टू इनकरेज द स्टार्टअप एंड टू प्रोवाइड दैम अ प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर को डेवलपमेंट इन द डिफेंस एंड एरोस्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी and recently idex has signed its 100th contract with a firm called pacify medical technologies private limited okay prasad bharti has signed a memorandum of understanding with which institution to develop the next generation broadcast solution so prasad bharti has signed this mou with iit kanpur to develop the next generation broadcast solution and this mou also seeks to develop a road map for the digital terrestrial broadcasting that is consistent with emerging standards such as 5g broadcast okay so doordarshan has 23 digital terrestrial transmitters while all india radio has 123 mw transmitters out of which there are 38 digital mw transmitters okay which institutions startup incubation and innovation center launch the nirman accelerator program this is also iit kanpur okay and it is supported by department of science and technology government of india ncfdc is a proposed umbrella body for which institution what is the full form of ncfdc national cooperative finance and development corporation limited okay and this is related to urban cooperative banks running and maintenance of ships in lakshadweep have been handed over to which institution so they have been handed over to shipping corporation of india now and uh, talking about lakshadweep it was also in news because here three desalination plants have been developed and demonstrated at which place in kaveratti agati and minikoi islands of union territory of lakshadweep right next question which country organizes the annual military exercises named as han kuang so taiwan's main annual han kuang exercise commenced recently and the president of taiwan zai ing wen oversaw the largest annual naval and air exercises so 20 naval vessels including the frigates and the destroyers fired the shells to simulate intercepting and attacking an invading force so it was organized of Taiwan's northeastern coast amidst the raising military pressure from the country China right let's see some of the important exercises indian navy conducted a maritime partnership exercise with which country in the andaman sea this is japan so from india side ins sukanya participated and from japan side their destroyer js samider was there to take part in this partnership exercise which is the host country of the rim of the pacific exercise host country for this is usa sea guardians 2 is a joint maritime exercise conducted by which countries so which two countries are involved in the sea guardians 2 maritime exercise these countries are china and pakistan indian navy's stealth frigate ins tarkash conducted a maritime partnership exercise with which countries navy this is sudan so from india side ins tarkash participated and from sudan side two navy ships were there first is almaz and second is naimer okay 
India recently conducted a coordinated patrol exercise with which country on the Andaman Sea and the Straits of Malacca. This is the country, Indonesia. Okay. And if we see some more exercises, for example, there is Sampriti and it involves two countries, India and Bangladesh. Next is Lamitye. It is exercise between India and Seychelles. Next is Slinex. Slinex is the exercise between India and Sri Lanka, right? Then next is Khanjar. It is the exercise between India and Kyrgyzstan. You have to tell me Kripan Shakti is the exercise between which two countries do let me know in the comments next question which country unveiled a rare and well preserved roman era coin dated year 8 so israeli archaeologist unveiled a rare and well preserved roman era coin dating back 1850 years so it depicts the moon goddess luna and it is the first such finding in the Israeli waters. So this coin minted in Alexandria, which is present day Egypt, features the zodiac sign Cancer below this Luna and uh, that eras Roman Emperor Antoninus Pius on the other side. Okay. Only thing you have to remember is this is a coin which has been found in Israel. Let's see some of the important international current affairs. Nobel laureate David Trimble who recently passed away was the first minister of which country so former northern irish first minister david trimble won the nobel peace prize in the year 1998 for his key role in ending over 30 years of bloodshed in the region so david trimble and john hume who is the former leader of catholic social democratic and labor party jointly received this nobel peace prize in the year 1998 and recently david trimble passed away at the age of 77 years shipping major marsk recently completed the cross-border logistics of containerized cargo between india and which other country so danish shipping major ap moller marsk successfully completed the first india bangladesh cross-border logistics of containerized cargo so it was completed using the inland waterways of the indo bangladesh protocol route and this company moved 50 containers from kolkata india to a river port near dhaka bangladesh for coca-cola bangladesh beverages okay which country has announced to quit the international space station after 2024 so russia has decided to quit the International Space Station after 2024 as per the newly appointed Chief of Moscow's Space Agency. So Russia and US have worked on the International Space Station which has been in orbit since the year 1998 and some of the key accomplishments of the Soviet space program are sending the first man into space in the year 1961 then launching the first satellite four years earlier. right? Kais Sayed, who was seen in the news, is the president of which country? So he is the president of Tunisia country. Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah has been appointed as the prime minister of which country? So he is the new prime minister of the country Kuwait. Okay. Next question: Which Indian airport was ranked 13th in the ACI list of top 20 busiest airports in the world? So Airport Council International has released the list of top 20 busiest airports in the world and the top seven ranks are held by the u.s airports with hadsfield jackson atlanta international airport leading the list okay and the top 20 airports accounted for 19 percent of the global traffic in 2021 so indra gandhi international airport nai Delhi, was ranked at 13th in this list okay Let's see some of the important rankings. Which country topped the medal tally of the 2022 World Athletics Championship? Answer is USA. Then USA is further followed by Jamaica at second position. At third, there was Ethiopia. Which state topped the utilization of funds under Smart City Mission? This is Tamil Nadu. And Tamil Nadu has utilized 3932 crore rupees out of 4333 crore rupees. 
that has been released by the central government to the state of Tamil Nadu and at second position there was Uttar Pradesh because Uttar Pradesh has utilized 2699 crore rupees um, out of 3142 crore rupees. Which country is the top source of India's remittances in 2021? Answer is USA and USA has actually surpassed the country UAE to become the top source of our remittances, right? So India is by far the world's largest receiver of remittances because we have received 87 billion dollars in the year 2021 and this is the growth of 4.6% from the previous year. Which country was the top choice of Indian nationals who renounced their Indian citizenship in 2021? So the top choice for the Indian nationals to renounce their Indian citizenship is USA and then they want to be a citizen of Australia also, then Canada and then UK. In 2021 to 22, which of the following countries overtook China as India's top trading partner? This is the country USA and the bilateral trade between US and India is $119.42 billion for the year 2021 to 22, while this value was $80.51 billion for the year 2022 to 21, right? Next question, which company delivered the indigenously developed quick reaction fighting vehicle to the Indian Army? So Tata Advanced System successfully delivered the indigenously developed quick reaction fighting vehicle to the Indian Army and these protected vehicles will boost the combat potential of the protector to the nation in all weather and all terrain conditions and provide the protection. Okay, so it is further said that the induction of this vehicle will enhance the operational capabilities of our Indian Army. Fine. Let's see some of the important companies. Which is the first insurance company to launch pay as you drive feature for the motor insurance? This company is Go Digit. Which is the first company to directly obtain and implement 5G spectrum? Answer would be Larsen and Tubro Technology. Which social media company has released its first annual human rights report? Answer would be Meta. Which Indian company is set to acquire Denmark-based base life science? This is Infosys. Which is the first Indian renewable energy company to refinance the dollar-denominated bond? Answer would be Renew. Next question. What is the theme of the World Hepatitis Day 2022? So this day takes place every year on 28th of July to raise awareness of the global burden of hepatitis. And this year theme was hepatitis cannot wait. Okay. So one person dies every 30 seconds from a hepatitis related illness. And 28th July was chosen to observe this day because it is the birthday of the Nobel Prize winning scientist of Dr. Baruch Blumberg who discovered the hepatitis B virus and developed a diagnostic test and the vaccine for this virus, okay? Let's see some of the important themes and days. What is the theme of the World Brain Day 2022? It is observed on 22nd of July and this year theme was Brain Health for All. What is the theme of the World Youth Skills Day 2022? It is observed on 15th of July and this year theme was transforming youth skills for the future. What is the theme of the 2022 World Accreditation Day? It is observed on 9th of June and this year theme was accreditation, sustainability in the economy growth and environment. What is the theme of the National Doctors Day 2022? It is celebrated on 1st of July every year and this year theme was family doctors on the front line okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.